and millions of people have no electricity supply at all. Developed countries are still polluting the planet at an alarming rate. The global demand for secure and independent energy increases daily. Due to the increasing demand and lack of energy solutions, Soluna was created in Shanghai and Salt Lake City with the goal of providing clean, affordable, reliable, and independent energy. Power designed for night and day. Our motto is to provide clean, affordable, reliable, and independent energy. So how does Saluna provide help to those countries with unavoidable disasters and places that lack electricity? Saluna's latest residential offering is the Power Bank series. The Power Bank will work during a blackout and can be connected to a generator for total independence. Power banks will reduce your electricity bill and provide reliable energy when you need it most. Businesses can choose our larger power cell battery storage system, providing clean and reliable energy for higher business uptime. Residential or commercial, grid connected or off grid, Saluna can help. Our new leading edge production facility enables fast production and availability of stock. With a global presence, we are proud of the after sales service you will receive. Together, we are powering a better world built on renewable energy solutions. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, this is a very uh, short brief about Sonona background. You can find this video uh, on our YouTube and uh, uh, LinkedIn website. So if uh, anyone needs this video for marketing proposal, you can reach to our sales representative or our distributor to you know, ask him for this video. Um, also, you can uh, write an email to our sales uh, email address looking for this video. Thank you. So next, I'm gonna show you about a, you know, Sonora's uh, factory facility.
Okay. Uh, also, for this video, you can uh, looking from you know from the YouTube uh, so not uh, YouTube site and also uh, the LinkedIn site. If you any need any um, video for the marketing proposal, you can write an email to us. No problem. So next, we will have a presentation for the Sonona product range. I'm going to share you with uh, you know presentation in a second. So our brand Sonona. So S O L means so, uh, solar. Lula means moon. Um, it's from Latin, sun and moon. Our concept is to you know collecting solar power from the sun in the daytime and use the battery storage at nighttime. So that's why we call the brand Sonona. So um, our vision is to provide a clean, safe, affordable, independent energy. So environmental security, independence is always our priority. Uh, for environmental, because our power is 100 uh, clean, think with the sun, because most of the house, they are using a lot of energy in the morning and light, because in the morning, um, you know, mom need to cook food for the kids. He, she need to do the laundry, a lot of uh, cleaning thing. And in the evening, also same thing. Need to cook dinner and also do the dishwashers. So most of the energy of the house is used in the morning and night. But in the morning and night, there's no sun. So solar panel cannot help you at this time. So with the storage, uh, we store energy from the daytime, like it's a picture you can see, in the daytime, the sun is always there, there's a lot of sun power. So we collect in solar power and store into the battery. So we can use the power at the, day, at the nighttime and the morning. So that's how we make the power clean. And uh, also our system is great tie. So it means that um, the power you're collecting from the solar you can use sell back to the grid and also the power store in the battery you can also sell back to the grid in this way you can save a lot of uh, cost you know from the electrical so this will help you to saving the utility uh, bill so for security um with our system, with solar panel, you can make your house 100% for the power security. You don't need to worry about uh, you know, the power shutdown. Like a few uh, months ago, the fire happens in Australia and also the fire happens in California. In this kind of disaster time, if, you, if your house is in that area, it's 100% you know, cutting from the, the great utility. So if you have a solar panel on the roof, you have, you have our energy storage system in the house, you don't need to worry about the power shutdown. You can always keep your house with power. And um, this is our Sonona full range of product. We have uh, battery modules. Um, in the left side, you can see we have small battery modules. We have low voltage battery pack. We have high voltage battery pack. 50K, uh, we have all-in-one system. We have entry-level small one, and a medium one, and a big one. And also, we have a commercial energy storage system for small commercials, stores, uh, you know, big house, and also small factories. Uh, here, I present you the all-in-one system, S4, S8, and S12. So for S4, it's quite small and very compact. Uh, it, it will be designed for a small house, around like 150 uh, square meters house. It's kind of like a 150 um, 
uh, 1,500 square feet. And for the ice eight, it's designed for a big house. It's more like uh, for 400 square meters, something like, uh, you know, 4,000 4, square feet. And for ice 12, it can have to go up to like um, 4, 500 square meters, 5,000 square feet. So different product, different power, different uh, market. As you know, we have a single phase product and also split phase product. Single phase product is for European market, African market, and some of the country from South America. And also we have split phase. Split phase product is for, you know, for Canada, for America, United States, for some of the Central America, like Mexico. Um, for the single phase product, we have S4. It's a um, very small one for entry level customer. It has a 3.6 kilowatt inverter inside and with a 4 kilowatt hour battery inside. Um, we also we have S8. S8 it has a 5 kilowatt inverter inside and two battery modules inside. It can go up to like a 80 kilowatt hour battery uh, capacity. And we have S12. S12 have more battery. It means have three battery modules inside. It will go up to 12 kilowatt hour. And also we have um, um, S8 and S12 for the split phase. For split phase, uh, we have six kilowatt uh, inverter inside, two battery module, eight kilowatt hour. And also for the S12, we have um, eight kilowatt inverter inside, and 12 kilowatt hours battery capacity. And all this all-in-one system we are using this on force rate battery is um, long life cycle. So with 80% uh, depth of discharge, we can use 6,000, more than 6,000 cycles for the battery, we guarantee 10 years quality. And also we have monitoring system from the app, from the web, and also we have a, a seven inches LCD um, interface. So for so why we need a Sonona energy storage product? The first thing is that uh, we are 100% clean energy. Uh, we're collecting clean energy from solar, and also we are use, using Nissan batteries. So there's no pollution in use and after use, because the Nissan battery can be 100% recyclable. And the second thing is affordable. Affordable, uh, right now, we provide 10 years battery warranty up to $3 is day expense of use. And also a lot of free energy, you know, half from solar power. So it's very affordable. And also right now we have a lot of financial program in Australian market. So it means that um, uh, we can help our customer in Australian market to use a financial program uh, to help you to pay a monthly a really fee to use our product. Um, also, um, for the safety, Right now, we are using Nissan phosphate technology and also it's 18 to 15 format battery cell. We can 100% guarantee the safety. Uh, independence, we can keep your home life when power outage, independent power from grid. And also our product has the features of generated input. I will explain a little bit later about the generator uh, backup functions. So this is the product features. Um, a lot of customers asking, oh, how your system is connecting with the solar panel. So for our system, we can support AC couple and DC couple. So it means that our system can connect to solar panel directly. We don't need a solar inverter. That will save a lot of cost and a lot of installation cost. And also we can be, um, uh, this AC couple means that uh, uh, AC couple, if you solar panel already have a micro inverter in your solar panel, don't want to remove that. So if you don't want to remove that, we can, you know, just uh, plug, you know, the solar system into our generators. Then we can also use that as an AC couple solution. So our system can support both AC couple and DC couple. It means that you can is there, is there a brand new solar system without a solar inverter? And also you can use your current you know, solar system with a 
micro inverter or solar inverter. And energy storage, we have uh, built-in batteries. It means that um, you can charge a system by solar and also you can charge them by grid and also you can charge them by generators. Uh, the next one will be home backup. Home backup means that um, uh, right now our function is UPS. It means that uh, if the power is, uh, the, uh, the utility is, is gone, the grid is shut down, it will switch to our battery you know, supply you know, automatically in 10 milliseconds. You even did, cannot notice that it's in 10 milliseconds. And also with our UPS function, you know, you can um, use the full power because there's a lot of uh, product in the market. There are not a UPS, there are EPS. You will, you know, wait for maybe one, sec uh, one minute or two minutes waiting for switchback. You know, and also the EPS is not full power. Like our product for S S4, you know, or S8, if the inverter is, you know, 3.6 uh, kilowatt, the UPS is full power. A lot of EPS functions is not full power. It's only have about one kilowatt or two kilowatt power. So that's the difference between our product and other product. And peak shaving, it means that, um, you know, uh, you can use, you can set it to use our battery storage to charge from the grid in, in, you know, in cheap time, in low bid time, the, the, the price is very low, you can charge from the grid. And in the bid time, in the peak time, you can use our battery storage to supply your house, or either you can sell, you know, the energy back to the grid in the peak time. So it will help you to save the cost from your utility company. And also, the off-grade function, our product can be 100% off-grade. It means that, um, you know, you don't need to worry about, uh, you know, if you want to buy a product you use in the cabinet, you have a small cabinet in, in the, you know, remote area. You didn't have a um, um, utility company to, have a, uh, to, to connect in the cabinet. You can also use our product to use 100% off-grade with solar panels. And uh, generated backup. This is a very unique feature for our product because in the market right now, there's no other product can supply the you know, generator backup. But with our product, we have a generate input and also the, the generator out automatic start signal cables. So if you have a generator backup, you can connect to our system, you know, the, the cables and also the signal cables. It means that there's no power from the grid, there's no sun, there's no battery in a capacity. The system will start to generate automatically. The generator will start to charge your batteries to supply your house. You don't need to worry about a long black. Like I just mentioned, a few months ago, the fires happened in California and also in Australia. You know, the grid may be shut down for 10 days or two weeks. So maybe the storage is not enough for the big house because you need to use them for dishwashers or you know, dry machine, maybe the power is not enough for your house. In this way, in, in the nighttime, if you have a generate backup, you don't worry about the, you know, the power is not enough. And this is um, a nice, uh, simple single diagram about our solution. So with our product, you, you only have to connect with solar panels. You can choose to, oh, one second, we have some customers may have questions. Okay. Um, I will explain more about the, uh, the high voltage batteries. It seems like a lot of customers are interested about the high voltage batteries, 50K. Uh, no worry, I will explain, uh, explain a little bit later, okay. Uh, for this one, you know, uh, you can just use our product with solar panels. Um, you can choose to use a generator a lot. It's just your options. You don't need a solar inverter. You don't need a lot of accessories. Just uh, our, our system and our solar panels. And also we have a um, monitoring system from the web, from the app, from the LCD. So in this way, we can provide full independence power, you know, to set it free from the utility. So this is um, the more information about our system's parameters, the data sheet. 
if you need uh, more information, you can go to our website to download uh, the K logs. And also you can reach to our um, distributors or our sales representative for more information about this detailed data. So this is uh, some detailed information on our single phase product. And this is our split phase product. And a lot of customers asking, you know, to say, oh, what is your product difference with Tesla Powerwall? So here I'm gonna explain you a little bit about the difference between our product and Tesla Powerwall. So you can see in the left side, you can see the Tesla Powerwall installation. A lot of um, you know accessories. It has required you to have a solar inverter, it has have a backup, you know, gateway box, you need to have a essential load box. So the installation will be, okay, we have one customer have uh, raised their hand. Um, one second. Okay, I cannot find you. Um, so, you know, you need a lot of uh, installations, a lot of accessories to install, install a power wall. And in the right side, you can say Sonora. You can just say Sonora. We don't need any accessory box. We don't need a solar inverter. So the installation can be very neat and clean. So the next page, you can see the real installation. Here is the left side of power wall. You can see a lot of components, a lot of accessory box, a lot of buttons in the wall, mounting the wall. The right side is Sonora. You can see it's very, the installation is very clean, it's very neat. So the main comparison for Tesla Power and our system, you can see Tesla Power is AC couple. Um, it requires you to have uh, the solar inverter. And also the installation time is about three hours. It will spend you about 4,000 US dollar installation charge. And you need to buy a lot of accessories, um, like 1,000 to 2,000 US dollar. The, the expensive, uh, you know, the, uh, expense is about uh, uh, inverters, installations, mounting parts. One second. We have some customers asking questions. Hello, Patrick. I would like to ask if this also valid for the S6 and S8 uh, Soluna systems. Uh, you mean which function? Uh, you make the comparison between the uh, Tesla Powerwall and the S uh, Soluna S12. Oh, yes, yes. So the function or the features with S4, S8 and S S12 is the same. The reason okay. why we make a comparison because, you know, um, the S12 it has 12 kilowatt hour. Tesla Powerwall is something like a 10 or 12 kilowatt hour. We just want to, you know, to match the capacity. The features is the same. Okay, thank you. My pleasure, thank you. So John, hi John. Hello? Hello, John? I cannot hear you. Okay, let's continue, sorry. Um, so this is a basically, you know, comparison. And also our system is DC couple, it's all in one system. The installation time can be less than 30 minutes. So after this presentation, we will have um, demonstration about the installation. 
the demonstration is not a, a video, it's 100% live. So you will see how quickly, I see how simple it is for the installation. And also, um, the next one is plug, plug and play. Um, for our system, we have S8 and S12. The carbon name is the same. So the customer can decide they need a, you know, two battery or, th or three battery. So if they choose S8, two battery inside as an entry level, after one month, they may say, hey, I need to upgrade my system. I need to, you know, one more battery. No problem. They just need to buy one more battery and plug it in. They upgrade to more, cap more capacity. So this is plug and play. And also, you know, um, with our unique generated backup, um, it can support your system more independent. So we did a little bit calculation between our system and Tesla Powerwall. So to the end customer, including the installation charge, our system is, um, uh, Tesla Powerwall is about 1.5 uh, to two, uh, two times of solar system cost. Hello? Here um, is uh, some of the um, batteries, because maybe it has a lot of customers they don't want an all-in-one system. So they may say, hey, I have some, you know, trusted brand of, about the inverter brand, you know. Maybe they like um, other brand of the is hybrid inverter, or, you know, some reason they don't like all-in-one system. So we have batteries can, you know, offer to them. So in the left side is 50K high voltage battery. Um, it's um, like 400, 410 volts. Uh, it's very high voltage. And in the right side is uh, 3K low voltage battery. So this is uh, the picture of our 15K batteries. So this is a little bit of information about a 15K. Uh, the material is NCM, and the capacity is 15 kilowatt hour, with depth of discharge 80%. We can last about 3,500 3, cycles. Volt is 410. Certification for the battery cell, we have UL1642. For the battery pack, we have UN certification. We have UL1973, you know, and also we have IEC certification. The maximum charge and discharge current is 3 amps. The Lomino is uh, 50 amps. Um, and also the power for the charge and discharge is 10 kilowatt. A Lomino is 6 kilowatt. So it can be instilled inst indoor and outdoor because the, right, the IP rating is IP54. Uh, and uh, right now, uh, we are compatible with uh, the Goodaway ET series, three phase inverter. So this one, so this battery is more designed for be compatible with uh, the three-phase inverter because we know there's a lot of uh, market, a lot of countries, they need a three-phase um, application. So that's why we designed this battery. And also we can compatible with uh, Solius HVES split-phase inverter uh, because there's some, you know, market like in the United States, in Canada, in Central America, you know, um, Mexico, and a lot of countries to have uh, demand for split phase. So we are comfortable with, uh, you know, uh, Solius inverter. So next one will be our, um, you know, the low voltage uh, 3K batteries. So this battery is more designed for, you know, for low voltage uh, inverters. The chemistry is also NCM, 3 kilowatt hour, with a depth to charge 80%. It can last about 3,500 3, cycles. And the certification will be battery cells UL1642 and the battery packs IEC certification. And also this battery module can extend expandable to five pieces. So the total system can be, um, you know, 15 kilowatt hour. And also, the IP rating is IP54, so it can be still indoor and outdoor. 
Uh, right now, we are planning to, you know, make this battery to be compatible with uh, Goodway, Solia, Screwart, Focus, low voltage inverters. So this is uh, basically um, presentation uh, for our product range. If you have any question, uh, you, uh, we, we can have, uh, you know, uh, you can raise your hand, I can put it in the phone, we can um, communicate. At the same time, I will show you how to do the installation about our S8 system. You know, this one is a split phase one, it's a little bit different, different with our uh, single phase one. So we're gonna show you. So you can see just a brand new system is packed, waiting for, you know, installation. So I will ask our engineer staff to open the package. And also if customers want to count how long it can last to install, install, install this system, you can start to count, you know, with your clock to see how long. Yes. And I gotta put some of the customer in the phone, since you have questions, one second. Hello, Patrick. Uh, yes, I have a very important question to ask. Um, as you know, the uh, footprint, the ecological footprint will be calculated from production to recycling. How green is the production of these systems? How green? Is okay. the production of the system? Um, the system is, is pretty green because, um, you know, uh, in the factory, like the factory, I show you for the battery cell. The battery cell manufacturing process, there's no pollution. There's no pollution to the earth, actually. And also, a lot of uh, chemistry um, in the manufacturing process, the material is recyclable in the manufacturing process. There's no pollution from inside the battery manufacturing process. So I can, I can see. Is almost about 90, 90 percent um, clean. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, I watched a reportage yesterday about uh, green energy, and the main questions they ask there is which kind of power is used to make the production? Are you using your own system to to provide uh, power to to the production unit? Um, uh, because we, we are a factory, you know, we, we didn't use our own, you know, uh, system to maintain our production. Uh, we have some solar panel on the roof. We have some battery system in our office to daily. So if you look at my background, um, you can see, you know, we have systems, you know, operating daily for the, for the, you know, for the office. But for manufacturing, you know, for factory, you need a lot of power. So we still need to get the, you know, all from, from great. But a lot of, of our equipment, the manufacturing equipment, like when we do a challenge discharge, the power will be fit back to great, you know, if we discharge. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So there is no fossil, there is no fossil fuel used uh, to make the production? Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, John. Yes. Uh, how the warranty works for the Latin American uh, market? Sorry, what 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 is the question? Or I didn't catch you. You listen to me? 
Yeah, I'm, I, I can't hear you. What is your question? I'm sorry, I, I didn't get you. Yes, the, 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 the how, how the, the warranty works for the Latin American market. A warranty. Warranty. Oh, warranty. For, for our oil line system, uh, right now for the battery, we guarantee 10 years. For other components like, uh, you know, the cabinet and uh, the inverter, we provide uh, five years. And also we can provide optional, you know, 10 years for the system. Uh, for batteries, we provide three years guarantee. Okay, thank you for information. Thank you. Hello? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. My colleague, I have uh, just uh, one question, right? Um, my colleague asked me about uh, uh, how many energy we will spend for to charge. Uh, to charge battery, uh, how many energy is needed? Oh, we will spend. How many energy to charge the battery? Okay, so how how much energy does it spend to to recharge the battery? Um, you know, our oil in one system we have an uh, inverter inside. Like for this one, split face. Uh, um, this have um, uh, this one have a six. Uh, kilowatt inverter inside, and we have battery. Two battery goes inside, so it means that uh, it will depends on your solar panel. So if your solar panel can provide, uh, you know, six kilowatt, you know, uh, to the inverter, the inverter will charge the batteries for six kilowatt. Are you still hearing me? Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, um, how much we lost energy for to charge battery? Oh, you are asking about the efficiency, right? Right. So uh, about our system, our system right now is ninety-five percent of the efficiency. I'm sorry. Uh, our efficiency right now is ninety-five percent. Uh, Okay, so the system is meio alinhado, depende do painel solar. Depende do painel solar. Porque ele está sentado na câmera. Ok, ok, thank you. Ok. Um, me apagou aí já, tem câmera no ambiente. Vai ter que Okay, okay, okay. Hello, John. Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, I'm so sorry. I had microphone problems. Um, I when I spoke with you uh, a few weeks ago. The, the question came up about whether these can be placed indoors or outdoors. Um, I believe you, you had told me that there's no reason why they can't, they, they don't necessarily need to be indoors, but they at least need to be sheltered. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, you know, for the, this all-in-one system, the IP rating is IP20, so it should be is, uh, is still in indoor, um, like it's still in the garage. If you is still outside, uh, outdoor, uh, you can put it in the shelter, you know. Uh, the shelter just uh, operate, uh, or, uh, or because, you know, the rain will come in. So also, if you didn't have a shelter, we have an uh, uh, accessory box, it's outdoor, you know, we, we, can, we can provide. 
Okay. Uh, now, now, going back to the, the higher voltage batteries, you had mentioned a split phase system that can be that, that can be um, matched up with the higher voltage battery systems that you have. Um, was that a that that was a a Ginglong Solus inverter that you were referring to? Uh, you know, for the high voltage battery for the split phase, you know, inverter. Right yes. now, we are compatible with uh, Solus. Solus. Okay. Have, yeah, we have a split phase inverter, high voltage. Uh about stocking um do, do you still have stock in uh in the united states that you're keeping or uh do you have you have new inventory on the way uh for united states right now we didn't have 50k in inventory we only have i spell all in one system in inventory our okay. warehouse in nevada so right now we are planning to ship, you know the 50k battery have the battery to the united states in two weeks because you know because the coronavirus, the transportation has been shut down. So, but it's open right now. We are planning to send some batteries, 50k batteries, to our Nevada warehouse in two weeks. Okay. If uh, and one last question for now. Um, it, if a customer wants more power. How would you address that by using multiple? Uh, multiple units and having it, them operate independently from each other? Uh, we, we will, you know, we, we recommend to, you know, to use them independently. You know. Don't let the channel together. You know, in this way, we will have some issues. So if it's all in my system, we will need them to use, you know, independently. If it's 50K, you know, in the next few months, uh, we will make our 30k and be connected to power. So it means that if one customer say, hey, I may want a two of the battery 30k. So we are, in the next few months, we are making them to be connected to power. Hello? Hello, John? Can you hear me? Uh, how about now? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, can, then if you would confirm what you just said was that um, you're working on being able to arrange these with their outputs operating in parallel for capacity, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, for the high voltage battery. Okay, I, uh, all right, thanks. Thank you. Hello, Hector. Yeah. You hear me? Yes. Hi. Uh, okay. Um, are you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you right there. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, my question is, what type of lithium BMS uh, this uh, uh, cell has? Uh, active or passive? Oh, you mean the balance? Yes, the bank. The the BMS. Uh, what type of BMS uh, bring up? Oh, the BMS. The BMS is uh, is a passive balance. It's a passive. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So right, uh, one second. Okay. So right now you you can see we put back two battery module inside. And the engineer already finished the connection between the battery module and uh, you know the inverters, the systems. You can see clearly right now we have two battery connecting parallel. Each of the battery is connected very easy. We only have four cables <clears throat> to connect in the, in the system. One, two power cables, one negative, one positive, you know, and uh, one for communication and one for the switch because we have uh, a switch on, on the, uh, the front cover, it can turn all the batteries. So the installation can be very easy. Only four cables for each of the batteries. 
and we will already finish the installation with the batteries. So engineer can cover the case, close the door. Okay. Thank you. Hey, John. Hello. Uh, so I will use the time to answer a lot of questions in the right message. We have passive masking, you know, 50K, especially at about, uh, you know, 10 kilowatt hour usable capacity. That means the battery is designed for DOD leverage 80%. Uh, it can be, but it will impact the second life. You know, right now, if you use more than um, 80%, the life, the life cycle will be reduced. Uh, some customer is asking if there, you know, um, a minimum ambient temperature to manage to charge the batteries. Normally, you know, for the Nissan battery, we don't recommend to charge the battery and, you know, zero centric degree. For the storage and transportation, normally I go from minus 10 centric degree to uh, 45 degree. Some customers asking how the generator generator works. You know the generators. Um, we will have um, a, yeah, a cable, you know, connect to the generators and also connect to the uh, the generate inner signals. It means that uh, if uh, oh, the grid is shut down, there's no sun, the battery has no um, capacity. Um, it means that um, everything is done, then the system will start to uh, generate automatically and start to charge the battery. <laughs> yes, our IC4 also have signal to start uh, the genset. Yeah. Uh, can we use Bobby inverter? I'm sorry, you know, Bobby's inverter is a very high voltage. It's kind of like about 600, um, you know, volt. We cannot work with Bobby inverter. What is operating temperature for all one system batteries? So right now the operating temperature is minus 10 to 45 centigrade. degree. Uh, some customer is asking, if, you know, we can use these two or more S12 together. Yes, you can, but you need to separate the, you know, the grid and the load. So you can see the interface about the connection to the solar panels and uh, grid load and generators. For this one, I just mentioned it's a split phase system. Uh, we need to meet with the requirement for the UL, so the interface is different with uh, single phase um, uh, interface. For the single phase one, it's just some connect connectors connect. But uh, for this UL standard, we need to we need to go through to the event. What is the the other port, bottom left? Uh, one second. Uh, the, the bottom left is uh, the load, the house load. The middle is a generator power, a uh, generator signal. And the, the rest, you know, the top is a grid. And uh, in the bottom is uh, the solar panel one, solar panel two.
Hello, Jeff. Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Perfect, thank you. First off, thank you very much for putting this together. It's very informative. I, I, I really appreciate it, and I, I appreciate you guys staying up while, while we get up early here in the United States. It's been very helpful, thank you. Um, thank you. A couple of questions I have. One is um, on the all-in-one string sizing then for that system. Do you guys have a string sizing tool that you provide for the panels? Uh, you mean you mean the, the maximum power for the for the uh, solar panels? So as we're stringing up solar panels into your system to be DC coupled, what is the, yeah. what is the string configuration look like for that? Uh, right now our system can support the two string of the solar panels. Okay, so we have two MPPT inside. Okay, two strings, two strings of eight, two strings of ten, up to what voltage? Um, the volt, the voltage. Um, one second. I, I can't remember, you know, the the, uh, the time is right now, but I can find out the three for you. And if it's on the data sheet, I can I can look at it. I just yeah, it's on the data sheet. It's on the data sheet. All right, all right that's fine. Um, as far as monitoring, you're going to cover monitoring? Yeah, I can show you a little bit about the monitoring. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, I think the last I had on the all in one then, um, the, the amperage, the total amperage for loads is what? You mean, you mean, the, you mean the, the current? Yeah, the, that's correct. Okay. So right now for this system, for this system, you know, uh, it's, uh, uh, just a six kilowatt you got inside. It means that for US standard, it can support you uh, 50 amps. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, and then, how are you guys handling rapid shutdown? We're being, you know, most of, most of the, the jurisdictions here are going to rapid shutdown. So, will you guys work with the, the Tygo optimizers? Uh, right now, for the rapid shutdown, we are, work, we, are we can, you know, we are comfortable with uh, the AP system. I don't know if you heard that name. Who is it? I'm sorry. It's AP system. Okay, with with AP. So I I would need more information about that. No problem. I will ask our you know uh, sales person to send you the information. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, the, for the PV input, you can check on, on our dash sheet. It's, um, it's from amplitude is from 150 to 4, 450 volts. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Is it the same size uh, breaker when you're AC coupling it as well? Is it 50 amps going back into the main panel? You mean? When you're on the AC coupled? Oh, side? AC, AC, yeah, AC the same, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. Hello? Uh, so you can see right now, we already finished all the cables installation. We got to cover the front, uh, the front cover.
there any monitor system available uh, on on your cell phone to check your system? Yeah, you can go to App Store. You know, you can check uh, Sonola, so you can download the app. Okay. And so, also, if uh, if you want to see inside, we can you know send you a you know account for the demonstration. So you can go in, use our password. You know, you can go in the same the features. Yeah. Okay, good, thank you. Is there any uh, planning to make a three-phase system? You for want industrial one, use? All in one three-phase system? Yes, 383 three-phase system for industrial use. Oh, three-phase for industrial use, yeah. Uh, so I just mentioned we have power cell, you know, the big commercial one. That one is three-phase. Oh, okay, yeah. But right now the product is not ready to launch. Uh, we are planning to launch the power the power cell. You know, big one is from like uh, from 50 kilowatt hour to 100 kilowatt hour, three phase. It will be launched in, uh, in uh, third quarter this year. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So right now, all the installation is finished. Uh, I think it's less than 30 minutes. So we will start to you know to to operate this system. So we're gonna turn on all the switches. So you can see right now the system is starting to work. You know, it will take a few minutes to detect the battery, but you can see the interface right now. Uh, so, so you can see the, uh, the LCD screen is a seven inches um, LCD. You can do the settings. You can do the, uh, do the checking status on the MC. So right now you can see um, uh, the capacity is uh, 38%. And also, this is a touch screen. So if you check, you can see the system status. You can, if you connect in the grid, you can load, you can see the, you know, uh, the working status. It's a solar panel charging battery or it's great charging battery. Or the battery is by the house, and also you can see these four, you know, uh, these uh, icons. This is the household information, so you can check what is the voltage and what is, um, you know, um, the load information. And this is the battery status. So you can check the voltage of the batteries, the state of charge, the power, the battery type, and also you can see the grid information, uh, the voltage. You can also see the energy of the day, energy of the month. And also, you can see the solar panel information. Um, the the, the stream, stream one, stream two, this kind of information. And also, you can check if you go back to the uh, main screen, you can do the settings here. The setting here you can choose the power source. So you can choose only the solar panels only, or you can choose to use solar and the grid. So if you choose this one, you can do the, you know, the to get great charging sighting. It means that you can choose when to charge the system by the grid because in different time, the price may be different. And also you can set the, the speed because in some time, if you know, you know a big shining light is coming, you can charge your system very really fast. And also you can do the power use you can choose, you can uh, choose only to use the power to the household. And also you can choose uh, both to household and also to the grade. If you choose this one, you can also set in time to save or when you want to sell back to the grade because the price is different. And also you, you can choose language. We, for different countries, we will provide different language. 
And also, um, for this date, we, you can check what is the solar generation. Uh, for today, how many power you from solar for this month, how many power for this year, how many power, how many power. And also, uh, you can check information back to grade today, this month, this year totally. And also, you can see, you know, how green you are, how you support us, planet trees. So the LCD interface is quite easy, it's touch screen, it's very easy for the old people to use. Uh, a lot of customers asking, you know, how many years warranty? Uh, so I just said the battery is guaranteed by 10 years. You know, the other components is uh, guaranteed by five years, but we can offering, uh, you know, optional 10 years. Um, some customers asking the cool system, how we cool, uh, you know, the cooling. Actually, right now, uh, in inside of the system, just fans, you know, uh, to cool. Uh, normally, if the power is very big, it's full power, it may need a fan to start off, but the fan is also now, it's quite a, you know, uh, very low, um, it's not lousy. Okay, basically we already finished all the installations. I think it's only, we spent only about 20 minutes. Um, you can see if you, if you instead of, um, if you go to the house of the end customer, if you can, you know, finish inflation in 20 minutes, then the customer will be very happy for that. So if you have any question, you can raise your hand. I can put you on the phone. Hello? Hello, Joe? Yes, I've, I do have a question about service. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, for, for service, if suppose customer has, uh, uh, like, maybe the, the touch screen goes out or something like that, how, how easy is it um, for replacing something like that? And um, is there some kind of program for, like, Say, for instance, like a, a qualified or trained field service personnel for the Saluna systems. Sure. The first thing that we will have, uh, you know, training for the other service. And like for the LC screen, you, we can show you how easy to replace that. You um, can the LC Just a minute. So we can show you the LCD thing. So, you know, if LCD is uh, broken, we just loosen the screen and use a uh, new LCD and, you know, flat cables. It's quite simple. I hope I answered your question. Yeah, that, that's perfect. It's pretty much plug and play then. It's simply, even it, it appears that uh, even the end user, if they're so much inclined to do so, could even replace this uh, if need be. Yeah, yeah. So the whole concept of our product is plug and play. The batteries, the components, it's very easy to, to change. And also you can see a big space, you know, here. You know, a big space here. So this space is designed for customers to add one more battery inside. So you come and say, hey, two batteries not enough. I want more battery. Uh, re remind us, uh, what is your maximum? Is three battery modules. So all together, how many kilowatt hours of battery can you place in this? Kilowatt hours. I'm sorry, repeat that. 
a 12 kilo hour. Okay. Uh, yes, the 12 kilowatt hour uh, for the battery system, for which type is that? The, I assume the S12? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Furthermore, they talk about 10 years warranty for the batteries and 5 years warranty for the system. What is the lifespan of the system and the batteries? Uh, you know, um... For, for batteries, we only guarantee 10 years for the system, like the cabinet, the LCD screen, and also inverters. We ran out our standard term is five years, but we can offer customer, you know, to extend the system to 10 years with, you know, a little bit more expense. Yes, but there's a difference between the warranty period and the lifespan of the equipment. Yeah, yeah. So what is the life expectation of one full system? Uh, you know, for the, for the, for the system, um, we are designed in 10 years. We are designed in 10 years, but for, you know, like the LCD screen, the cabinet, you know, normally we don't know how customers will use that. Like you see the LCD right now, Normally, you know, it will shut down by a few seconds if no one opens that. But we don't know if the customer could, you know, have some problem, you know, using the very high temperature, use it every day, it may reduce to maybe like a, uh, five years. So we cannot guarantee that. It, it will depend on how we use that. But the design is hard for 10 years. So up to now, there's no idea how long the system can last. Maybe it can last for 20 years. <laughs> uh, I, I hope it can last 20 years, but at least 10 years. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Joe. Uh, one other question here, if, if, if I might, the, uh, the printed circuit boards, things inside, um, in, in areas that are prone to lightning, okay, where you have surge surges, where it is quite possible that you might have a printed circuit board get fried. What's involved in, 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 in that kind of service? Cause I, you know, I understand that just like cars, you just don't buy a car and you start driving it and you don't need to maintain it for, for 10 years, things, things might happen. So suppose there's some kind of uh, failure beyond the LCD, uh, all the other parts for the most part are, are, are plug and play replaceable to a degree? Um, you know, right now, you know, the, the battery is plug and play, the LC is plug and play, but for other components, like you said, the inverters and also the breakers, uh, it's not plug and play. It may need a, you know, very, uh, you know, professional engineer to do the. But, but, uh, but they're, re they're, they're repairable. It's not like you don't. You don't have to resort to telling the customer, sorry, your, your unit's no good anymore. You have to throw it in the trash. These all can be repaired. Yeah, yeah, for okay. sure. That, that, that. That's really that's really what a customer's concern is. If they're going to spend the money, yeah, they need to make sure that somebody's going to be with them throughout the life. And I think, for the most part, this should be able to last more than ten years if someone is available that can offer any kind of repair service to them. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, generally yeah. true. Yeah, I, I think you you just see the front cover for the operation panels. Uh, you know, all the components is there, and uh, you know, with a uh, trained engineer, they can they can check what is um, what is the problem. If something is wrong, 
the entire work program, and she can, you know, uh, replace the components and make the system work again. So this can be, can be repaired, you know. Hello, Patrick. Yes. Um, as you say that the system, uh, the, the temperature of the system can, can adapt is about 40 degrees. Did you ever consider to use a uh, heat reflecting coating on the outside? As you can use the units outside and inside, if I understand well. Why? Uh, you know, the system, you know, is designed to be used inside. If you want to still outside, you need a shelter, you know, because you're not all proof. But for temperature, for temperature, it can work from mass 10 to 45 centigrade. degree. Meaning under, under a surface, you can store it outside. If not under a surface, you cannot store it, you cannot use it outside, right? Yeah, yeah, if there's no shelter for the system, you can only use outside because the rain was coming come in. Is there any warranty towards uh, fire insurance and everything? Because I'm sure if you put it inside the house, the, your insurance, your fire insurance uh, could complain about it. Yeah, we have, we have globally, you know, product insurance for our product. So it won't cause any trouble with your insurance company? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. But I, I don't know, I, I guess you are from the United States, right? No, I'm from Belgium. Oh, Belgium, okay. Uh, the fire insurance, I don't know, because I'm not, I'm not a local guy, I don't know what is the requirement for your fire insurance. I think you need to check with your fire insurance company to say, hey, I still any story in separate, you know, the insurance policy. So I'm not one of the, 100% sure for that because, you know, I think we need to check with your insurance company. But for the product itself, it's well safe, and we have globally insurance program, you know. Okay, I assume that no government will be keen, as your system competing to the grid, um, that they might issue a law that forbids you to store batteries inside your house. So mm -hmm. how to solve that? Uh, as I just said, you know, if you want to still outside, you know, I uh, just need a shelter to, you know, to prevent the rain comes in. If you don't have that shelter, and also we have a box, you know, we have accessory box, which can provide for the customer. You know, it's designed for our system. We, we, you just need to put a shelter the box outside, maybe in your yard, maybe, you know, beside a house, then you put the system into the box. That could be a good solution for that. And also to shield it to temperature, you could consider for the outside boxes to apply a heat reflecting coating, which means that the box won't accept any heat from the environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, the accessory box we, we used, we have been testing that, you know, uh, we have uh, to testing, so it will not, you know, uh, impact our heating, yeah. Good, thank you. Thank you. So, is uh, anyone have more questions? Hello? John, you have more questions? Uh, one second. Hello? 
where we died. Hello? Uh, is anyone have more questions? Yeah, uh, I do have one question for you. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you right now. Okay. Uh, does the unit, do the units have a function where you can prevent it from uh, being grid tied so that it does not feed back onto the utility? Some of the utilities in the United States uh, have laws where you're not allowed to backfeed into their grid. Uh, Is there some kind of function that you could uh, have it so that way you could put it into like an appliance mode where it's uh, using the PV to produce energy and also like the UPS function as well. So that way um, if, there's, if there's additional energy uh, to prevent it from backfeeding onto the grid. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, we can do the siding from the LCD to uh, the shutdown, go back to the grade. I will show you one second. So here, the siding, you can choose the power, you know, use. In this way, you can choose, oh, I only want to power to supply the house load, no back to grade, just click here, the so power will now go back to grade. Is that clear, John? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Anyone have more questions? Uh, sorry, one, one additional question. Okay, no problem. Uh, okay. Um, in the event that a consumer has this and it's and their um, the demand is is higher than the the unit will will give them, what what takes place? Uh, it, will will it pull from? the additional power that it needs from the grid or will it trip offline? Uh, if you need a more power, it will pull from the grid. Okay, do, will, will, it sh sh will it switch over like a static transfer switch where it gives all of it or will it still share the load between the, uh, what the unit will provide and the, the additional, the incremental power it would need from the utility? Uh, it's, it's something like this way. You know, in the in the in the daytime, the daytime, uh, the first uh, you know use power will be solar. So the solar is the first priority. So if if solar is um, if solar is is good, have more power, it will charge the battery. So when when you use the uh, the system to supply your house, they will use solar first. If the solar is not good enough, it's not a big enough to use batteries. The batteries are not good enough to pull from the grid. Okay, okay. yeah, the, the reason I asked that question is in southern climates where folks have air conditioners, the, uh, the compressor starting or anything that, that has a motor in it for a load in, a, in someone's home where you have that initial inrush of current, 
uh, that that's a scenario that I'm thinking about where that might occur if, if they're already using a good portion of what the unit can provide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only thing is that if the, if the grid is shut down, if you only use the battery to supply the house, you know, there's some surge, you mentioned it, like the, you know, like the air condition to have surge. If surge is not all, is all hours back, it, can, it also can start because our, we have a, a certain power a tolerance for the system. If it's not an over hour surge, you know, impatient, it will also start your, 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 your home appliance. It's over that, we will not allow to, 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 to use that. So it's something like this. Okay, and in any kind of uh, switching that takes place, do, do you have any idea how many milliseconds of transfer time that that the system is designed? Um, right now, our system is designed for 10 seconds. It's uh, 1.5 times of nominal uh, power. Like this one, this system is I-8. It has a six kilowatt inverter inside. It means that uh, we can support about nine kilowatts in 10 seconds. Oh, you, okay. So yeah. if you choose like I felt, oh, I felt it have a eight kilowatt inverter inside. It means that would, that, uh, yeah. That yeah. can give you up to 12 if, if you're, yeah, if, yeah, yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah, and, and that, that additional then for 10 seconds may be well enough to cover any kind of surge. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some customers asking if you use solar energy when there's sun and the battery energy when there's no sun and the wind battery goes off. It's used grid, correct? Um, yeah, it says the sun, the, sun the, the solar will charge the battery system. So if the, there's no sun, the battery goes off, the grid will charge the battery. And also, as I just mentioned, you can set it from the LCD, you can choose the time to charge the battery. You know, choose the, the lowest price time to charge the battery. Uh, just uh, uh, some customer asking, you can, cannot find a menu on our website. No worry, we will send you the menu, you know, after the meeting. Don't worry, we have a registered information, we will send you by email. One, one another question, please. Uh, getting back to, I, I guess, the future. Uh, I believe you said that you were working on uh, a future model or or ability for these where you could parallel outputs to increase capacities. Uh, uh, I wish you were here. Yeah. How, so, how, right. how far away do you think you are from from that materializing? Yeah, I, I just mentioned this for this battery. So this battery module is high voltage, 20K. It will support, you know, other brand in Nevada. So this one, we are planning to put this one and be scalable, maybe two piece, maybe three piece in the next three months. So if you choose, you know, um, the inverter from other inverters with this battery, in three months, you can you will be able to use two or three of these. Oh, okay, but th that battery there is the battery that's used with the Ginglong Solus and the um, the the Goodwe inverters, correct? 
Yeah, yeah. Guru, Guru Wei is uh, the three phase, sorry, I blue phase. Yeah. Hello, Hector. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, my question is, what is the peak power that the battery support in off-grid operation? Oh, you mean off-grid mode? Yeah. Uh, it depends which, which product. And like this product, S8, um, split phase, the inverter is 6 kilowatts. Um, and the inverter is 6 kilowatts. So off-grid is 6 kilowatts. That's the, that, that's the maximum peak power. Uh, it's uh, you know continuous power. You know for the service, it is is um, is uh, nine kilowatts in ten seconds. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Pleasure. New, new question. If, if there's a, suppose there is a customer that the, some of their peak demand may go as high as say 18 kilowatts. Okay. How could you use say the, uh, the S eight in a scenario like that? Would you want to, to, um, segregate certain loads only on the system? Or could you still place the the solus the largest of the solar uh, of the um, Saluna systems in between, say the 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 meter and the customer's main panel? Um, would that be a, an application that that you'd want to avoid and and only um, apply the solutions to customers that their maximum for the most part, the, the ma their maximum demand may be only uh, limited to only eight kilowatts. Um, yeah, I I I I think uh, right now for the application, uh, we don't want so many you know uh, units to be still in the house. I think that will cause potentially um, errors and also issues. So we don't recommend you to use like that way. So, okay. yeah, because um, we don't want to cause a lot of other service issue. Sure. I think that the way to, and, and, and we've seen this done where um, a customer would not or use. Producing um, a unit for, for their household, but what they may do is, is take certain loads and place only certain loads on the unit. Uh, and that would be also a way for them to uh, to achieve you know, some solar electronics use and even some backup power in the event that there is no utility. Uh, so I, I've seen this where, where, where they've they've placed uh, their their kitchen, a few bedrooms, uh, what they find as necessity. Well, the other places in the home may be continue, you know, will be continue to be fed from the, from the, uh, the utility. So that, that's the way that I could get around that for now. Yeah. 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 If, uh, if there's uh, no great, great, uh, great connection, I think you can just separate the connection. Like, oh, you can, you can, the house, you can divide to maybe, uh, two or three different, um, uh, you know, um, connection between the solar and the system and also load. You can split to maybe two systems or three systems. Right. Yeah. yeah, have two or three different panels and then they just yeah. feed different areas of the home. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. All right. That would be good. Yeah. 
人卡住。Hello, Anton. You hear me? Hello. Uh, did you say Anton or John? Uh, Anton. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you right right now. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm from South Africa. Um, yes, what I would like to know is what um, um, app do you use on your mobile phones to do um, remote monitoring for the clients? And then do you use the same app for your installers? And can, is it possible to uh, do remote uh, configuration of the systems? Because sometimes the customers is quite far, like 100 kilometers or more. and um, it will be good if you can just uh, get online, go in the rem remote uh, monitoring system and see if there's anything uh, oh. wrong on the customer systems and do some system um, changes remotely. Uh, you know, I, I can show a little bit about the remote system. Um, right now, our remote system can only do the monitoring. It's sort of for the studying, you know. I can I can show you one second. So this is uh, uh, the monitoring system. I, I got a you know, small radio report. This is planning information. This is a demonstration account for us. If you need a demonstration account to look inside, uh, we can send you, send you the, the account and password. So you can see the uh, information, the generation from solar to grid, the battery status, and also you can check the daily generation from the solar, the monthly, the yearly, and you have uh, all the information. Yeah. Okay, now I understand that. Um, what I also would like to know is uh, how, how regular do you do firmware updates? Sorry? Oh no. What regular basis do you do firmware updates on the system? Firmware? What I'm asking is on the, what basis do you use firmware updates on your system? How regular do you do it? You mean you mean for the for the system firmware upgrading? Yes. Do you do sometimes do firmware updates on the software of the of the system? Oh, uh, normally we will not do the form firmware, you know, upgrading, uh, because um, I think to the remote firmware upgrading can be, you know, can be dangerous because we don't know what times customers are using, and we cannot make sure, you know, that the system is all connected with Wi-Fi. So long as we are not do the remote uh, firmware up upgrade. Okay. And yeah. then a, a last question is, is it possible to check, say for instance, when you install the system now in six months time, how many cycles of batteries have been completed? You mean you want information to say how many cycles the battery has been used? Yes. Uh, for that information, you know, we, we, we don't show that information, you know, for the how many cycles, because normally we provide a quality guarantee, we provide like a yearly, how many years for, for the for the battery's uh, life cycle, because the customer, 
that there will be a lot of uh, argument for the cycle life because you cannot see what is the cycle life. 10% charge, 10% discharge is cycle, 100% charge and discharge is cycle. So if we use a cycle as a, you know, uh, warranty, there may be a lot of arguments. So the best way for the uh, quality guarantee warranty is how many years? Okay, and then uh, uh, the other question is, um, will you submit your inverter uh, to uh, companies like Helioscope and PVSYST so that you can do your string designs on this platform. You mean monitoring uh, platform? No. There is some programs that you can use to do uh, your uh, layout of your panels on your roofs, okay, and you and do your string designs with a called PVSYST and Helioscope, okay. Will you submit your inverter information to them, okay, to be able to where design software, if, if the installer wants to design a system for a customer, okay, and they want to, do, uh, to use specific solar panels, they can do a string design with this uh, software. Oh, I, I got it. You know, normally this kind of calculation, this kind of service is provided by our distributor and installers. And they will help to calculate, you know, how many panels we need to uh, compare with our system. So we have all the information for the solar input for each of the, the system. The installers will help the end customer with calculation, how big uh, for the solar panel, and how many panels we need for the system. Because we, we have, have I, yeah. I will discuss, uh, I will discuss it with William afterwards. Um, uh, then uh, you can discuss it internally. Okay, okay thank you. Okay, some customers asking the you know the monitor system. So just a small video to show you the monitor system. Uh, this is app. You can see the solar generation information and also uh, the data for uh, each of the the source and also the use. Is this for the S6 or S8 system? This one? Oh, this one is the one we install in our, our facility. It's S8. Split uh, S8, yeah. But, uh, you know, the, you know the, the monitoring system for S4, S8, S12 is the same one. So you can use the S6 system for a uh, standard uh, domestic house. S8? S6 system for a standard domestic house. 
We didn't have ice six. We only have ice four, ice eight, and ice twelve. Okay, sorry. Any more question? Uh, some custom is asking what kind of system I would advise for standard consumer using 5,000 kilowatt per year for the intended from grid. Um, it means that uh, you will use uh, around like a, um, so in this way, I will recommend you to use uh, as health to be independent from grid. Thank you, John. Uh, Andrew, uh, I think uh, your question uh, is a little bit difficult. I cannot understand where I get. So I will ask uh, Veronica to contact with you uh, about your question. We will answer your question. Uh, is there anyone have more questions? Uh, some customer is asking if the battery is um, a lot full, uh, if um, the inverter can also seal power to grid. Yes, if the battery is not a full, if I have solar connected uh, and a grid connected, it also can use, you know, it can also seal power, power back to grid, no problem. So the power will come from solar. Not from the battery. Uh, some customers asking what percentage um, loss. I think it is a question of the efficiency. All systems efficiency will be 95%. So 
Some customers asking, can we stream multi value together to make a large system? Uh, for our all-in-one system, we don't recommend you to uh, use a multiple of the system together. Is anyone have more question? If there's no question, we get a end, end of this meeting. Thank you, everyone. Um, really, thank you. It's about uh, two hours already. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you know you joining our, our meeting. I hope we can see you right soon. We are planning to have more webinar in the next uh, few months because uh, the coronavirus. So we're gonna see you soon in the future. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hi, John. Yes. yes, I'm John, Dominican Republic. Thank you for Saluna the this very important the webinar. Thank Have you. Have a nice day. Thank you. If you need any uh, more information, you can, you know, contact with us. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.